welcome to your first chapter of class 11 biology the living world this is going to be video one of a four video series all right so in this chapter what we're going to be talking about is what life is all right we'll talk about what is life what are the defining features of life all right and then we'll discuss all of these features in detail so we'll talk about growth reproduction consciousness metabolism and all of that good stuff all right so at the end of this lecture you should be able to differentiate something that's living from something that's non-living all right now zooming into page one of our notes the world we live in has so many habitats hai na bahut sare hote hain so it's understandable that because of this varied habitat obviously all the different forms of life that are present on earth are also very varied hai na so different habitats are home to different kinds of living organisms obviously now because there are so many different kinds of habitats there are different kinds of living organisms so there is diversity theek hai there is diversity in life so this makes it a little harder to come up with criteria for living versus non living hai na but what is life theek hai what is living as opposed to non living let's find out this is a flow chart or a basic overview of your entire video theek hai there are five main characteristics that separate living creatures from non living things all right पहले तो है कॉन्शियसनेस सो ऑल लिविंग बींग्स आर कॉन्शियस टू सेंस देर एनवायरमेंट एंड रिस्पॉन्ड टू एक्सटर्नल स्टिम्यूल वॉट इज कॉन्शियसनेस इट्स बेसिकली द अबिलिटी टू इंटरक्ट विथ वॉट एवर इज अराउंड यू ठीक है सो यू आर टेकिंग एन इंफॉर्मेशन एंड यू आर एडजस्टिंग योर सेल्फ अकॉर्डिंगली दैट इज कॉन्शियसनेस क्लियर देन a second property is all living beings produce their progeny theek hai this is a reproduction all living beings produce their progeny theek hai then we have all living organisms are made up of cells theek hai cellular organization is one of the defining features all right a fourth point is all living organisms grow both in size and in number theek hai size mein bhi badhenge ya fir number mein bhi badhenge and lastly we talk about biochemical reactions biochemical reactions are the sum total of all the reactions taking place inside a body theek hai to jo bhi aapke body mein sab chemical reactions chal rahe hain na the sum total of all of these is called the metabolism and there are two names ek hota hai catabolism and one is anabolism so catabolism is the name given to the reactions that break down compounds whereas anabolism is a reaction that causes a synthesis of compounds all right so catabolism breaking down anabolism synthesis let's revise all the properties we just talked about one consciousness Two ability to produce progeny, three cellular organization, four growth, and five metabolism. All right. Now we come to discussing all of these in detail. Like we said, the five main characteristics were growth, reproduction, metabolism, cellular organization, and consciousness. But if you notice i said that growth and reproduction are not the defining properties what does this mean in order to understand that we need to understand what a defining property is now think about this a defining property is a property that a all living organisms must have and b no non living organism should have samjha defining property is a property that all living organisms must have and no non living organisms can have simple all right so 
growth and reproduction are not defining but metabolism cellular organization and consciousness are defining chicken now when we come to growth growth is an increase in the mass or the overall size of a tissue or organism chicken increase in the mass or overall size but two types ke hote hain intrinsic growth and extrinsic growth intrinsic growth is growth inside the body of a living organism extrinsic growth is growth from the outside that is accumulation of material from outside on the body surface now why do i say that growth is not a defining property think of a mountain a mountain is definitely a non living thing hai na mountain pe bahar se if soil keeps accumulating keeps accumulating keeps accumulating then that is an example of extrinsic growth because this mountain is increasing in size via extrinsic accumulation hai na so you cannot say that growth is a defining characteristic because non living things also exhibit growth theek hai samjha why growth is in defining because non living things also exhibit growth all right now we talk about this in detail in a majority of the higher plants and animals growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive matlab they have nothing to do with, with each other growth apna karega reproduction will be different all right but once again because both living and non living things can show growth therefore growth is not a defining feature okay clear hai now we come to reproduction reproduction is the produ- production of progeny possessing features more or less similar to the parents theek hai so in the case of unicellular organisms like bacteria or amoeba it's basically an increase in number and the progeny will be identical theek hai so idhar growth and reproduction are synonymous theek hai where is growth and reproduction synonymous in the case of unicellular organisms all right such as bacteria or amoeba theek hai there are some organisms that reproduce by asexual means theek hai asexual means for example fungi mein there are asexual spores all right spores yeast and hydra reproduce by budding ठीक है बैक इन दिस चार्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर देर वॉज दिस डायग्राम ऑफ बर्डिंग ये जो है ना दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ बर्डिंग ठीक है कमिंग बैक टू वॉट वी वर डूइंग देन वी हैव प्लेनेरिया विच कैन रीजेनरेट ऑल राइट प्लेनेरिया कैन रीजेनरेट फाइनली वी हैव फिलोमेंटिस एलगे एंड द प्रोटोनिमा ऑफ मॉसिस दैट कैन अंडर गो फ्रैगमेंटेशन all right fragmentation therefore reproduction cannot be considered a defining feature now think about this if a couple is infertile does it mean that they are not living just because they cannot reproduce or forget that because that is a pathology think about a mule a mule is an organism that cannot reproduce it has an odd number of chromosomes and it just can't reproduce all right so a mule is asexual and there are humans who are infertile and male worker bees are also sterile but all of these things are still living things therefore reproduction is not a defining feature all right let's go over this once more fungi asexual spores yeast and hydra budding planaria regeneration filamentous algae and the protonema of mosses fragmentation theek hai all right now we move on like i said reproduction is not seen in non living but there are many organisms who do not reproduce such as mules and worker bees 
इसलिए इट्स नॉट अ डिफाइनिंग फीचर ठीक है क्लियर है नाउ वी कम टू मेटाबॉलिज्म इट इज द सम टोटल ऑफ ऑल द रिएक्शन अकोरिंग इन अ लिविंग बॉडी सब जो केमिकल रिएक्शन हो रहे हैं वो सब मिलके दे मेक अप योर मेटाबॉलिज्म ठीक है एंड दिस इज अ डिफाइनिंग फीचर बिकॉज नो नॉन लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट शोज मेटाबॉलिज्म बट मेटाबॉलिज्म इज एग्जिबिटेड बाय ऑल लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट वेदर दे बी यूनि सेल्यूलर और मल्टी सेल्यूलर ठीक है इसलिए मेटाबॉलिज्म इज अ डिफाइनिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ठीक है देन वी कम टू सेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अ सेल इज अ बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ठीक है इट इज द फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम आर कंपोज ऑफ सेल्स वेदर दे बी वन सेल जैसे कि यूनिसेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स और मेनी सेल्स लाइक इन मल्टी सेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स सेल तो है ना सो सेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज अ डिफाइनिंग प्रॉपर्टी इट विल बी प्रेजेंट इन ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉट प्रेजेंट इन अ सिंगल नॉन लिविंग थिंग ठीक है ऑल राइट नाउ वी कम टू कॉन्शियसनेस विच इज प्रोबली द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड और एडवांस्ड फीचर ऑफ ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ठीक है इट इज द अबिलिटी टू सेंस द सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट एंड रिस्पॉन्ड टू दीज एनवायरमेंटल स्टेमल ठीक है तो बाहर से यू आर सेंसिंग यू आर अवेयर ऑफ वॉट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड यू एंड यू आर रियलाइनिंग योर सेल्फ इन ऑर्डर टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दीज स्टेमल ठीक है दिस इज कॉन्शियसनेस ठीक है नाउ इन द केस ऑफ ह्यूमन्स वी हैव सेंस ऑर्गन्स लाइक आर आईज आर इयर्स आर नोज प्लांट्स ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्ड टू एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स लाइक लाइट एंड वाटर ठीक है बट आप बोलोगे वे डू बैक्टीरिया हैव कॉन्शियसनेस एक्चुअली दे डू हाउ डू यू थिंक बैक्टीरिया डिवेलप एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ देयर कॉन्शियसनेस दे आर एबल टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू देयर एनवायरमेंट एंड कम अप विद देयर ओन डिफेंसेस राइट सो दैट इज अ डिफाइनिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज कॉन्शियसनेस All organisms show consciousness, but the feature of self-consciousness, मतलब being aware of yourself, is seen only in human beings. Or at least this is what your NCERT says. But if you actually look it up, many land mammals, especially primates, also exhibit self-consciousness. All right. Now let's have an example. If there is a brain dead coma patient. ठीक है बहुत सारी मशीन्स पे फॉर लाइफ सपोर्ट दे हैव अ कॉन्शियसनेस ठीक है दे हैव अ कॉन्शियसनेस बट दे हैव लॉस्ट सेल्फ कॉन्शियसनेस फर्क समझा दे हैव अ कॉन्शियसनेस बट हैव लॉस्ट सेल्फ कॉन्शियसनेस ठीक है हेंस कॉन्शियसनेस इज आल्सो टेकन एज अ डिफाइनिंग प्रॉपर्टी सिंपल ना ऑल राइट सो As a summary, we conclude that living organisms are self-replicating, evolving, and self-regulating interactive systems capable of responding to external stimuli. ठीक है? Now, all living organisms have evolved by a very long process of evolution, so they're all related to each other. ठीक है? We all share common genetic material. बट अलग अलग डिग्रीज पे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव मोर इन कॉमन विद एप्स दैन वी डू विथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अनियंस ठीक है सो दैट डज नॉट मीन अनियन का डी एन ए और हमारा डी एन ए अलग है दैट जस्ट मीन्स दैट वी हैव मोर इन कॉमन विथ एप्स अनियंस एंड अस स्टिल हैव सम कॉमन डी एन ए बट देर इज इंट एज मच ओवरलैप ठीक है आई होप एवरी वन अंडरस्टेड दिस वीडियो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो